G'day, my name's Adam Hills. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that yelled out Aussie, Aussie, Aussie and got nothing back. Tonight, in a special one-off event, we will be pitting the best minds of the Antipodes against each other in a cross-Tasman battle for musical supremacy. In other words, it's Australia versus New Zealand. Representing the land of the long white cloud tonight is a team who is as choice as a kiwi sipping a lemon and payroa while sniffing the sulphur of a Rotorua mud pool. From Hawara, it's Captain Alan Bro. From Hamilton, it's singer Jenny Morris. And from Tikawiti, it's comedian Tony Martin. <laughs> Representing the land down under are a team that's as bonza as a kangaroo eating a chico roll in the back of a sandman at the beach. From Red Cliffs, it's Captain Miff Warhurst. From Chinchilla, it's singer Pete Murray. And from Toowoomba, it's comedian Michelle Laurie. <laughs> so you two grew up near each other? Yes, and we really do know people. He grew up in Chinchilla and I grew up in Toowoomba. We call it the tea bar Do you have a special name for Chinchilla? <laughs> I love Australia though. That's the one good thing. Whenever you, you know you come from somewhere and you meet someone who's from where you grew up, all of a sudden you go, oh yeah, did you know so and so? And they go, yeah, and straight mm. off you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yak, yeah. yak, yak. The, the thing is, when you in, in Australia and you're from New Zealand, people immediately assume you actually know everyone in New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to get really sick of this, and someone said to me one time, oh, you're from New Zealand, you know such and such. And I was about to say no and went, had to go, oh yeah, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> So awful. And the problem is now people assume that you know Gandalf as well. <laughs> constantly mentioned. Now listen, tonight because it's Australia versus New Zealand, we thought we'd try and institute a bit of a trophy to be playing for. Something uh, and someone that represents Australia and New Zealand and music heritage. So tonight, each team will be competing for the inaugural Richard Wilkins Trophy. <laughs> And, of course, yep. for New Zealand viewers, that's the Richard Wilde trophy. Uh, indeed. That's what his name was over there. And now, just before we do go on, uh, we have special buzzers for the night. Uh, so, can you just hit the New Zealand buzzer? Oh, no. Cool. <laughs> and the Australian buzzer? <laughs> well, at least it's not just a sheep noise, because that's what I... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I know. Oh, this is traditional. I will be violating this. <laughs> <laughs> in the contract. <laughs> Send the children out. There is only one topic. It is the Antipodes. There are six questions and they're open to both teams. So, everyone on your buzzers, right. okay. let's play the Australia versus New Zealand edition of Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Name the Australian pop band whose lineup included New Zealand-born brothers Peter and Chris O'Doherty. Yes? Wasn't Dragon. No. Peter and Chris O'Doherty or should the Angels? No. I'm going to go to this side. Yes? Mentals. It's mental as anything. Oh, First point to New Zealand. Yeah. Next question for two points. Straight Jacket Fitz and the Chills were both on the roster. <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, of, of Flying Nun Records. Uh, yes, that was the first part of the question. <laughs> and they were from... Dunedin. Oh. Uh, no. Oh. To this side, the second part of the question was, they were both on the roster of a New Zealand record company that merged with an Australian record nice. company in 1990, named both of the companies. Flying Nun Records was a New Zealand company. What did it merge with? Am I? Uh, it wasn't EMI. Originally it was Festival, I think. It was Festival Records. Oh. Two points for Alan. Oh. <laughs> for three points, renowned for their prolific output and international success, name the first three Crowded House studio <laughs> albums. It was Crowded House. Yes, that was the first one. Temple of Low Men. Ooh, was the second one. Woodface. Woodface. Oh, three oh. points out of three. Oh. Four points on the line for this question. Watch this video montage. Wait to the end. Tell me the names of all four iconic Aussie songs. Yes. Great Southern Land. Land yep. down under my yep. island home. Yep. And the. And um, the Ganga Jang um, um, out on the patio. We said, what's it called? Australia. What's it called? Sounds of Z. Sounds of Z. Oh, four points out of four. Oh, yes. Yeah. For five points. Have a look at these five images. Identify the successful female solo artist from both sides of the Tasman. Yes. The one on the left is Claire Bowditch. Yes. The one on the, the right at the top is Beck Runger. Mm -hmm. Is that Sharon O'Neill? The bottom left, because that's no, living there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a living, living Newton John yeah, from the yeah. physical period. Mm -hmm. The one in the middle is that Kerry Takanawa. Oh yes, and the last oh, one. I'm Joe Sutherland. Oh, five points yeah. out of five. Yeah. Yeah. 
Claire Burdick, Dame Kerry Takanova, Vic Runger, Good Olivia Newton John, and Dame Joan Sutherland. Six points on the line for your final question. Split Ends was one of New Zealand's most successful and unique musical exports with nine of their songs making the top 20 in Australia. Name six of them. Yes. Six months in a leaky boat. Uh, that's one. I see red. Uh, that's two. Um, Got you. That's three. Yeah. Message to my girl. That's four. Oh, um, History never repeats. Uh, that's five. Oh, and then there was that one. I just um, need one more. This is like that pick the difference game in New Idea. I always get. <laughs> Over to this side. We think dirty creature. Uh, dirty creature oh, is in there. Yes, yes. you got the final point. Nice. Five points to this side. One point to Alan's side after that. The first gig I ever went to see was Jenny Morrison in Excess in Toowoomba. The first gig, I was, and I was like 12 or something, but the first gig I was supposed to see was um, Split Ends. Uh, when I was seven, I begged my parents they were coming to Toowoomba to play the Carnival of Flowers, which Great is a carnival. Yeah, you yeah. would love to do yeah. that gig because that's mm -hmm. in a park in front of a lot of bogans. And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> top gig. And, and it rained, and Mum said I couldn't go. Oh, you were so cool, though. Yeah. My first was one one in Geisha. <laughs> The first time I saw Split Ends was in 1984 at this um, natural amphitheatre called the Bowl of Brooklyn in New Plymouth and there were so many smoke people smoking pot that even though it was outside, I was stoned after 10 minutes of being there. Because basically there was like mist and I thought, why is there... Oh. <laughs> then all I wanted to do throughout the entire gig was eat biscuits. <laughs> Now, what are Australian audiences like, and New Zealand audiences? I, I, have, I always have a feeling that um, we're a little maybe more reserved than, say, when you go overseas. I don't think so. Aussies, are, I find they're pretty rowdy. When they get singing along and get into it, uh, I've been to Holland and they just sing from start to finish. Really passionate. And then Japanese crowds are totally opposite. You'll, you'll do a show and uh, you, you, finish the, you know, finish the song and it's just... <laughs> they are into it, but one good thing is there's no one there in the crowd going, Good on your mother, I love your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do a score check at the end of the first round. Uh, Miff, Pete, Michelle and Australia are on nine points. Alan, Jenny, Tony representing New Zealand in front, 12 points. <laughs> Each team is going to be shown a song from Australia and a song from New Zealand. You have to work out which one was voted worst by the Spicks and Specs audience. Miff, Pete, Michelle, you're up first. Your songs are... Give Me a Little Sign, from Australia's own Peter Andre. Come on, Chelsea, Peter, There it is. Is that better or worse than How Bizarre, by New Zealand's OMC? That is a great song. I don't think you can compare these two. No, I don't think so. He don't know as much. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. Alright, which All right. of those two is worst, Australia or New Zealand? The inclination is to go local, but um, I think we all know that Peter yeah. Andre is actually from England. It's pretty much, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, he, was, he was born over there in 1973. I'm a bit of a fan of Peter Andre. Oh, really? <laughs> Why is this? Um, on my iPod. <laughs> Why am I telling you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come. On my iPod, when when I finished finish an album, I have to listen to it before we go and mix, so that it's I know that it's all done and ready to go, and I'm not missing anything, you know, before I have to get in, sure. finish it. And, and you've gone. I just want yourself. this to be as good as Funky Junk. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> when I'm listening to it, I, I, I go down, you know, to Pete Murray, which is obviously who I am, and I'm listening to it, and Pete Andre sits right above me, so I'll actually just. Sometimes flick it on and on comes Pete Andre and I'm sitting there, you know, like on the plane and, and it's like, oh shit, Pete Andre, you know. I suddenly look around, everyone's looking at me and, and then I go, oh shit, quickly change and go back down to Pete Murray and that's even worse because people go, you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten to know some of his songs quite well. Do you secretly love him? No. No. Well then, why do you have him on your iPod? Well, <laughs> and how do you know? <laughs> well, let's just skip through this. Come on. <laughs> no, the answer Which for this. Which one of let's his go. children's names do you like the most, Pete oh. Murray? Is it Junior? And it's not Peter Junior. It's just Junior. Mm. Or is it Princess Tiami? Yeah, oh, but I have Peter Junior too. <laughs> no, That's but it's another not, thing you guys are going to go. You're naming a son after him as well. Connection. But what I'm mm. saying is they didn't call their baby Peter Andre Junior. They just, just called it Junior. Mm. Like they think that's a name. So you've got Junior Andre and you've got Princess Tiami Andre, which is your favourite. And the other one that they don't talk about. The other one we don't talk Harvey. about. Um, I don't know, I think I like Junior, actually. Just Junior? Yeah. 
Although, did you, like Peter Andre and his um, glamour wife Jordan, have a photo shoot done when your child was born and not only fake tan yourselves, but fake tan the baby? <laughs> <laughs> It was full on. Oh, I loved yeah. it. You get uh, two coats on in no time. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's good. It's which right. is worse? Uh, give me a little sign, Peter Andre, or how bizarre by OMC? Uh, Peter Andre. I'm Peter Andre? You yeah. can't rally a nation behind Peter Andre? <laughs> All right. According to our audience, at 78%. The worst of those two songs was indeed Give Me a Little Sign yeah. by Peter Andre. <laughs> We're slightly less crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alan, Jenny, Tony, your songs are Tonight by New Zealand's first reality TV oh. pop band, True Bliss. Oh, dear. That's right. What? Is that better or worse than Poison oh. by Australia's first reality TV pop band, Bardo? They seem very, very similar, don't they? Mm. Because wasn't Bardo a rip-off of the New Zealand one? Well, not it? really a rip-off because um, it, it, Jonathan Dowling, who, who invented the format, to the best of my knowledge, for um, pop stars, it was the, yeah, the New Zealand one was the first one. Yeah. And then it went to Australia and then the UK. But they both so went we, to that we school were... that teaches you how to do the arm. Yes. You know, if you've broken your arm, there's physiotherapy that you do to get back. <laughs> Is that how they learn? I think they all had broken arms. <laughs> <laughs> But is their song better or worse, according to the audience, than Bardo? Well, our song was way worse, but at least we were worse first. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think, I think yes. True Bliss is worse, but yes. I, I, I think the margin is going to be very small. According to tonight's audience, with 81% of the votes, Bardo oh! came in worse than True yes. Bliss. Wow. Just because nobody had ever heard the New Zealand one. Very probably. I'm assuming the audience went, well, that's a new, fresh song. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah. Fix and Specs audience are reverse racist. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. Uh, now, before we kick on, I do want to mention something at the moment. Uh, Pete uh, is on tour with a new album, and I'm very interested to see what you do have for this new album because I found a little bit of merchandise from the previous album. Uh -huh. uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Pete Murray underwear. <gasps> oh. Ladies underwear, I should point out. Yes. And I don't yes. know if you can see just there, <laughs> it says, Pete Murray, see the sun. Can I have it for a second? Yeah, yeah, of course. We were. There was talk at one stage of having it right yes. there. <laughs> see the sun, but I thought that might be a little bit too far. Well, think. yeah. So, I, I like it. I think it looks... Do you guys like that? Is it working for you? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's do a score check. The Australian team of Myth, Pete, Michelle are on 10 points. The New Zealand team, Alan, Jenny, Tony, still in front, 12 points. Each team will hear short snippets of songs from their opposing country. Without taking notes, you have to identify as many of those songs as you can. Alan, Jenny, Tony, you're up first. Listen carefully. Here are your songs from Australia. Birds are burning. Birds are burning. Treaty. Treaty. Only yep. the beginning by yep. Deborah Conway. Pub with no Pub. beer. Yep. And the latest one is the 16 year old girl. Nikki oh. Webster. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't remember her name. All right, I'll toss it over to this side. Uh, do you know what the song was? I do. It's Sweet About Me, Gabriella Chilmy. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's have a listen back to them. Uh, Beds are burning, Midnight Oil. Well played. Treaty, Yotha Yindi. Pub with no beer, Slim Dusty. It's only the beginning, Deborah Conway. And sweet about me, Gabriella Chilmy. Four points to New Zealand, one to Australia. Well done. Yeah. Nick, Pete, Michelle, <laughs> here are your songs from New Zealand. Yep. 
direction, too much friction ever more, right on. Um, Sway, Big Runga. Yep. Counting the beat. Mm -hmm. um, and Oh, April Sun and Cube. And Dragon. Dragon. Now, I'm going to help you out here ever so slightly. Um, that's not the name of the Evermore song. I don't know what it is. Right on. Right on. <laughs> It's too late. It's too late. Let's have a listen back to them just to check. Uh, April Sun in Cuba by Dragon. Counting the Beat, The Swingers. Sway by Big Runga. It's Too Late, Evermore. And Fraction Too Much, Friction Tim Finn. That was five points to the Australian team. I was sure that you were going to have uh, Shoop Shoop Diddy Wop Come A Come A Wang Dang by <laughs> Monty Vidal and the cassette. Is that a New Zealand band? Yeah, that was one of ours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'd love to see? I would love to see a rugby match where the, uh, everyone got up to do the haka oh. and just went into Shoop Shoop Diddy Wop Come A Come A Wang Dang. And then we do Shut Up Your Face and then we go. <laughs> what it is? Yeah. Is that just me? Isn't that be great? Yeah. Well, while we're talking national anthems, I've uh, on this show performed the Australian national anthem to the tune of Working Class Man. Yeah. Oh. And I realised you could sing the New Zealand national anthem, or one of them, because there are two, but you can sing uh, God Defend New Zealand to the tune of Better Be Home Soon by a Crowded House. Oh, wow, that's... You've got to get out more. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sacky said we've got two. What's our other one? Well, the oh. other one's it in Maori. In Maori. Oh, okay. Mm. Sorry. Why, and apparently God Save the Queen. <laughs> well aware of that. Yeah. And uh, hoping that'll make the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at the end of that round, the scores are now dead set even. New Zealand, Alan, Jenny and Tony are on 16 points. The Australian team of Miff, Pete, Michelle also are on 16 points. <laughs> Getting serious. But this next round tonight is a new one just for this show, and it's called Across the Ditch. Each team will be presented with a list of songs from either Australia or New Zealand. You have to move them to their country of origin. Uh, Tony, you'll be playing first for Alan and Jenny. So if you'd like to make your way up to the board, please. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Martin. Yeah. After you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. All right, there are going to be eight songs appearing on this board. Four are from Australia, four are from New Zealand. With the yes. help of the teammates, you have to put them in the right country. Go for it. Uh, yeah, my dream of rugby. Uh, uh, <laughs> Paul Trader came to see this a New Zealand that. one, uh, yeah. which is a Splendine song. We've got a cold front coming in. <laughs> 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 Ash Wednesday, that's an all um, Australia. Paul Trader and Cactus Head right at the top is a New Zealand one. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, well, that's she's a very my... long and dangerous title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon this mountain's got to be a New Zealand one. There aren't that many mountains. She's uh, my it has got down to be. Down by Australia. the sea, surely. Down by the sea. Um, uh, down by the sea would be. Oh, I'm not sure. Hot the beach, surely that's one. <laughs> <laughs> surely. Do we have that? Our beach. Island, island of humour, I reckon, New Zealand. So she's yeah, my Newton down by the sea. Yeah. yeah. Right there. All right, let's go through them. Island of humour is uh, by Australia's Mick Thomas. Oh. So that one, not so much correct. Uh, down by the sea is Men at Work, Australian, well played. This mountain, uh, you took here, that was Casey Chambers, also Australian. Oh, no. I was going to sit there in the middle because you got we it wrong. suck at this. <laughs> uh, She's My Ute, you got correct. Yeah. That was Lee Kernigan. Bullet Brain and Cactus Head, excellent work, split ends. Hot the Beach was actually by the Swingers. Uh, I Dream of Rugby was uh, Dave Dobbin. Uh, and Ash Wednesday, also New Zealand, that was by the Mutton Birds. So oh, you've got one, two, oh three, gosh, four points to New Zealand. That's good with the Mutton Birds. That's a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Martin. Sorry about that. Michelle, yes. you'll be uncovering for your team, ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Laurie. Yay. Again, four songs from New Zealand, four songs from Australia. Go for it. Okay, Wildlife Warriors, it's time is Bindi Irwin, so. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Um, Counting <laughs> Sheep, that's got to be. There's your one? Yeah. Is it or not? Oh, no, it could be a trick one. Uh, I wish what, it would rain. Oh, what Valiant, that's, that's got to be Aussie. Hasn't yeah. It? What Valiant, Aussie? Yeah. Surely Satya. Oh, I see. Satya, yeah. mate. Yeah, chuck that in Aussie. You reckon? Sat yeah. Yeah, Satya Dobby. The droving days. I'm giving that to them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even if it started ours, they can have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wish, it wish it would rain. That's the story you like. Yeah, yeah, wish it would rain. Yeah. I'll go New Zealand, that's oh, that drag. Yeah. No, oh, I don't know. We'll go New Zealand because okay. it's yep. New Zealand, New Zealand? Yeah. Um, it seems a bit obvious, but... Canning sheep, let's go. Well, 
You want to go there? What do you Let's want to go, go there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Rust uh, in dust. Australia. 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 Industrial town. Um, Being that it's half half. Four for one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Wildlife Warriors, it's time was uh, John Williamson, possibly with Bindi Irwin. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They look very similar because of her being it. <laughs> so you got that one. Uh, counting sheep is actually Australia's Sarah Blasco. Oh, yeah. of course. What's she thinking? Industrial town, weddings, parties, anything, also Australian. Oh. Uh, the Droving Days, Troy Casadaly, also Australian. <laughs> this is not looking good. Rust in Dust is by the New Zealand band The Herbs. No! Uh, Sat Di Arvo is Dave Dobbin. Oh, no! This is not looking good. Wish It Would Rain was Dragon. <laughs> uh, so it was from New Zealand. And White Valiant was by New Zealand's The Mutton Birds. <laughs> Two points to Australia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Laurie. <laughs> and given that round, the scores are the Australian team of Miff, Pete, Michelle are on 18 points. Behind the New Zealanders, Alan, Jenny, Tony, 20 points. <laughs> Teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. And I've got to say, I'm a little disturbed. The Australian team are two points behind. I'm thinking maybe we should change your buzzer. Can we have a new buzzer sound for the Australian team, please? <laughs> All right, this might just be the difference we need. <laughs> Your questions start now. Which band would I be quoting from with the line, it's a fine, fine line? Between pleasure and pain, the divine. Yes, it seems to be working already. Yeah. Hold Me Now was a worldwide hit. Hold me now. Let love Hold me now. Oh, that's a Tom Tom uh, The rest of the question was by which 80s pop group featuring New Zealand singer Alana Curry, the Thompson Twins? Oh, I forgot she was New Zealand, yes. Who wrote the musical Keating? <laughs> Casey Benito. Yes. One of New Zealand's most awarded musicians featuring in the Mutton Birds, Blam Blam Blam. Don McGlashan. And from Scratch's Don Who, Don McGlashan. Name the New Zealand band that changed their name post September 11 due to fears. Jihad. It sounded too much like Jihad. She had. The piano solo Country Gardens was written by which Melbourne born? Percy Granger. Composer Percy Granger. Have a listen to this. Name the tune. <laughs> Computer games. games by My Sex. What was ACDC's debut album called? It's not TNT. It was jail, was it Jailbreak? Uh, Go for one. Jailbreak. Uh, high Voltage. Oh. High Voltage. Oh. Who billed themselves as New Zealand's fourth most popular folk parody duo? Oh. Flight of the Concord. Yes, they do. Ooh. Releasing their album based on a true story in 2005. Oh. Fat Freddy's Drop. Is which New Zealand dub reggae jazz outfit oh. Fat Freddy's Drop? How is Oz Rocker Jimmy Barnes related to? <laughs> Johnny Diesel? Johnny Diesel? They're married to sisters. Who, their yeah, sisters the married there. each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's a joke. Which would make them brothers-in-law? <laughs> That's correct. Yay! And you're for your final point. Which great New Zealand Australian singer was once known as Russ LaRock? Oh, Russell Crowe. It was Russell Crowe, yes. yes. At the end of the show, the final scores are the Australian team of Miff, Pete, Michelle ended up on 22 points, but the Richard Wilkins Trophy goes to the New Zealanders, Alan, Jenny, Tony, 26 points. <laughs> Would you please thank all our guests for tonight, Jenny Morris, Tony Martin, Pete Murray and Michelle Laurie. <laughs> And of course, our two team captains, Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst. <laughs> now, it's been fun and games tonight as we've played up the rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, but there is a serious side to it all that I'd like to address. There is a piece of our shared history about which many New Zealanders are still understandably bitter. And I'd like to redress that issue tonight with the help of our audience and our Australian team in song. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. Australia and New Zealand still have bitter feelings about something that happened long ago and although I wasn't there I'd like to show I care and issue an apology on our show 
The Kiwis needed seven runs to win. <laughs> Captain Chappell stroked his bearded chin. Trevor Chappell frowned, then bowled along the ground. And ever since, we've had a guilty grin. We're all sorry we are, we are. Everybody. We're all sorry we are, we are. We're all sorry we are, we are. We're all sorry we are. Keep going. On behalf of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of Spicks and Specs, I'm sorry. On behalf of the Australian cricket team, I am sorry. Come on, everybody! We're all sorry we are, we are. Sorry, Al. We're all sorry we are, we are. Sorry, Tony. We're all sorry we are, we are. We're all sorry we 